Welcome to the Turnit tutorial. In this instructional video, we will show you how to use some of the basic features the Tourney app has to offer. Firstly, we'll teach you how to set up and launch your tournament live within minutes. Start by inputting essential information about the tournament. Choose format, sport, participants and seeding. You can customize the formats to have series of matches or different group sizes. Seeding lets you choose what the initial matchups will be and there are also tools to assist you setting it up. Participant lists can either be written manually or imported, stored and updated with images of your choosing. Single and double elimination brackets can be generated with a participant count of up to 64. This view can also be viewed from horizontal mode if you flip your device. To open score menu, press the small highlighted box next to the name you want to edit. Here you can input scores with free text, a note about how the match was and scheduled times that will be shown above the fixture. To select a winner, just tap the name to proceed. And to undo, go to score modal and press the button at the top left. To edit your tournament, you simply swipe by dragging your finger to the left or the tournament you want to edit. Here you can either edit your tournament or delete it. In the formats like Round Robin, Group Stage and Swiss System, the controls are similar and here you can also select a draw. To navigate the rounds, you can tap the round label up top or swipe left and right. To view the standing, navigate to the leaderboard and if you want to see more stats, Press the cogwheel on the top of the screen and then toggle Show Extended Statistics. Here, you can also change how much the points are worth for a win, loss or draw. When all of the matches in the group stage are played, you can advance qualified participants to create a new knockout stage tournament using the previously shown brackets function. A core feature of the Tourney app is to share your tournament instances with others through either a link or a QR code both possible to open from your internet browser or in the app console view. This makes you able to update everyone watching in real time with the progress of your event. Start by pressing the share icon at the top right where sharing is available. By default, the spectators can collaborate and edit scores and wins, so make sure you toggle the view only mode if you only want the event administrator to be able to make edits. When joining a live instance, you will be able to see a status at the bottom that shows you when you are connected. It will also notify you if there are any issues. At the top, next to the event name, you can see how many viewers your shared event currently has. To run multiple tournaments, for example for an event or a season, you can create a group. After creating it and navigating to it in the console list, you can create tournaments live in this view. All of the statistics and even results from brackets are tracked in an overall leaderboard. And there is also an overall overview. This group with tournaments can be shared all at once to others. And when new tournaments are created, they are automatically added for the others. Only the administrator of the group can create new tournaments. In the overview tab, you can enter relevant information about your tournament. You can also handle registrations here personally or let people register online by sharing your tournament. After pressing the register button, participants can then register from here. If you want to keep registration closed, you can also require the participant to input a code while registrating. That's a quick tour of how to get started. Whether you're running something small or big, Tourney helps you to stay organized, live and in control. Good luck with your tournament and have fun!